Okay guys, we're doing another video and this one is nothing to do with the tips this time We have bought some filters Again, these are really inexpensive But um, it's worth getting them Here they are These come in different colours because the colours represent The different gauge size of the holes in, in the, the tips what I'm going to do is show you how to remove it from the gun and then put another one in correctly. I did do a video on how to strip the gun down uh, previously but I forgot to show you how to put the tip in correctly or not the tip, the filter in correctly. I did just put the handle back on without thinking. I do apologise to anybody who was watching that. This video is now here to correct that. Um, so what we're going to do is dismantle the gun again I'll tilt the camera down so you can see what I'm doing uh, and then we'll, we'll crack on with that it's not going to be a very long video but you'll get the idea here we are with the air bower gun you can see I've got a few tips out a few bits and pieces uh, and see where we go from here so here they are the new Filters, I've just been demonstrating, not even opened the packet yet. How good am I letting you see an, un an unveiling of the unpacket? So, just get one out. Just to demonstrate what is going on with the tip. So, this end will go straight into the gun. And this end will go to where the feed is. And that is how the paint is transferred. So what you basically get is the paint coming through the actual filter and it will filter out any impurities of the paint, any contaminants that may be still in there. I mean, you do need to strain your paint before you put it into the sprayer, but you know, things can fall into paint very easily. Uh, so if there's any sort of work or whatever going on in the building that you're working in, you know, dust, people walking about, you know, anything, anything can fall into paint. It's just one of those things. So these are there to help filter out anything. And of course, the hole sizes are different. That's why they come in different colours. So all this here is, 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 is really small holes, actually. But again, you, you need to find the ones that uh, work for you. Have they got the hole sizes on there? It's... Uh, doesn't say I think it says that 60 mesh somewhere anyway anyway these are the ones I've got to replace the one inside that came with the gun and very straightforward all you need to do is unclip that most guns with any quality or that will do that a nice quick easy clip to remove and again the filter's running away, it means my table's not level. All we do is twist the handle like that, lefty loose, righty tighty. You've got to remember that. Now, there might be a little bit of water comes out, but there isn't any. Just give it a bit of a tap, and there you go. That's the filter that came with the air bower. So when you do this, it's an idea just to make sure there's no bits in there. Give it a good brush out, a good clean out if you can. And make sure there's nothing in there that might fall into the gun. Now once you've done that, all you need to do is take your filter, place it in the hole there, get a little bit of a push. Not too, don't be too heavy handed, you, you may damage it and then place your handle over it and righty tighty. Hand tight should be sufficient. You place your guard back on until it clips and there you go. Now other guns might be a little bit different. You may need to remove some of these nuts, but on most guns you do not need to remove anything. The guard will just unclip. Do it again, if we can get it off. Of course it won't come off now. There we go. 
and like I said, you just clip it back in and it's fine. There you go, that's the filter changed. Simple little job, but if you've not read the instructions or anything, you're probably wondering how to do that and, and found this video, so there you go. So there you go. Once again, thank you for watching the video. I hope you got something out of that. I hope I've uh, corrected my previous video on how to change the filter. I did forget to, I just got carried away putting the handle on, I do apologize. But um, yeah, that's how you, you replace the filter correctly in a airless sprayer gun, specifically the air barrel one. Um, but that will work for most guns. Most guns are in the handle there. So if you was bought a second hand one and you didn't have any instructions for instance you're thinking well I know there's a filter in it how do I get to it sometimes they're a little bit tight of these handles so it's kind of debatable whether to put grips on it or something if you're trying to ease it off but you, if they have got anything at the bottom here this one does have like um, a place to put the spanner you could probably just carefully nip it, nip it around like that and you should be fine um, if it's well seized on you may need, just need a new gun you know as simple as that but there you go that's life when you buy second hand stuff you know you don't always get good well maintained equipment do you so there you go so anyway i hope you've got something out of this video hope you enjoyed the video um don't forget to like and subscribe we do appreciate everybody who who does that on this channel and uh we do make um a little bit of money from YouTube now with it being monetized but not a lot it's not enough to retire on and it certainly isn't enough to live on um, but every little helps at the moment and uh, yeah thank you for subscribing I suppose um, so I hope you got something out of the video um, if you don't have any comments just leave them down below we'll uh, get around to answering them as soon as we see them and uh, yeah catch you in another video soon thanks for watching